Real Talk. So that was the topic last Sunday in yung second installment of our relationship series. And we're going through this so that we can align our relationships based on what the Bible says. Kasi God has designed relationships. God is a God of relationships. He, he authors relationships, I mean. So He has designed it to be functional and we need to uh, no, reassess, you know, revisit the relationships that we have, whether it's covenant meaning marriage, or you know yung best friends or yung you know yung mga ganyan di ba yung mga yan yung si uh, parang yung mga nagahandle ng camera ngayon di ba yun yung kailangan nila pag-usapan niyan but we need to go through that so we can align if yung relationship ba natin if it's in accordance to how God designed it kasi if not then we will experience yung dysfunction kaya nga we may term na dysfunctional relationships eh diba so what we want is for us to enjoy nurture and yeah cultivate those relationships and last Sunday pinag-usapan nga natin real talk and it's about communication and ang dami actually ang daming ano ang daming facet nung ano nung uh, topic last Sunday pero one of the things that uh, I think we can both agree naging highlight sa atin is listening. Yeah. Uh, kasi yung ginamit natin si James 1.19, yun yung, ano, yun yung uh, passage last Sunday. Sabi doon, we need to be, uh, we need to be uh, quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger, slow to be angry. So yung quick to listen tayo. Why is listening very critical in any relationship? Listening is you know, very important kasi I was thinking about my my marriage bro so interesting because at some point you want yung default kasi natin well in the context of my marriage mm-hmm. yung default natin is more in like i want to be heard first i want my idea to be to be understood ng partner ko ng wife ko so somehow last sunday was really like a highlight for me because i was reminded na we have to listen not to prepare for an answer mm-hmm. but we have to listen because we want to understand ano yung sinasabi ng partner natin mm-hmm. ano yung sinasabi ng like there are things na super within the box lang yung mindset natin minsan di ba so sometimes yung alam ko it's different from my partner's mm-hmm. wife so for us to be a functional yung marriage namin we have to work it you have to work it out kasi sabi nga marriage is a marriage is work. So pag sinabing work, kailangan mong magtrabaho, kailangan mong uh, ma-understand and saan nang gagaling yung wife ko, yung pinanggagalingan ng ng galit niya or saan siya nanggagaling bakit na annoy siya agad or nagalit siya or somehow. So it's very important na we have to Although I understand there are people na they didn't grow up into a culture. Yung, alam mo yun, yung family niya puro sigawan. Or probably yung culture nila ay sobrang intense yung conversation. I mean, there are people, people are like that na after those, those conversation na sobrang hype, tapos dun pa nila ma-realize after that. But one thing I've learned with my, with my marriage um, is that It's very important na ano, to listen first. Mm-hmm. So hindi siya contest na I have to win the argument. Hindi hindi siya competition na kailangan kong manalo as a husband kasi ako husband eh. Dapat ako yung leader. Hindi. So I have to listen first. It will take a lot of, you know, hot H O T, hot uh, humble, open and transparent mm-hmm. conversation. Kasi ako ng hot eh. <laughs> Mainit na ano, na approach kasi when we have that kind of posture in our heart natin although it's really like for me like for the past eight years of my marriage i know you have your own uh, take on this kasi sa eight years namin bro we just discovered last year lang on how we can provide a safe space na i can listen first dun sa wife ko and also yung wife ko can also like give me some space to to share alam mo yung skills of uh, listening kasi it's a skill yeah. it's not an overnight na alam mo yung download mo agad yung yung skill mo nandoon no mm-hmm. you will go through a lot of hard conversations you know right. yeah so yeah i think that's my so we need to verify what you said kakausapin natin si Jen Jen, Jen eh. 
Kasi si Jen nasa likod lang eh. So, hindi ko alam kung mag-agree siya sa mga sinabi mo. But I'm glad. Uh, you are honest. Ang ganda nung H-O-T. Yung hot. Baka naman may iba pang acrostic siya na hot talaga. Pero yung humility, it really takes humility to listen to someone eh. Kasi... Yung nga, yung, yung the H to be heard, yeah. totoo yan eh. Diba? Kahit sino man yata, sa nakapag, ano, if you feel ikaw yung, ano, ikaw yung tama, tama yeah. either ikaw yung tama, ikaw yung minali, yeah. yan, diba? You feel you're wrong. May ano yan eh, may H really to, ah, I need to be heard, I need to, you know, to to share what ha- yung, yung side ko, share what happened, yung thoughts ko, yung ganun eh, dami ng, imagine listening pa lang to ah. But in principle, what you shared about you and Jen, no, yung, yung other importance of listening, how does that affect our relationship with God? I've, I've heard one, one pastor said, relationship is spiritual first. Mm-hmm. Spiritual meaning it's connected with God. Because mm-hmm. if you don't have any connection with God, how can you have a thriving relationship? Mm-hmm. It would be like super siya, parang uh, superficial. Na relationship. So, it goes back to your relationship with God because, alam mo yun, uh, for me, on my personal walk with God, I get to know more about myself by by looking looking to God, basically. Spending time with God. Kasi, I, I won't eat my pride kung ako lang. Pero kung may God intervention dun sa relationship namin, I, I feel na um, I need to change something in my life. Parang alam mo yun, you, you have to to be connected first with God. How can you how can you embrace the John 3:16 in your life? I mean, I mean, if hindi mo yun na, na embrace yung yung first love ni God sa atin, you cannot like you cannot. It it should be for me. It should be a manifestation first. Manifestation siya on how I love my 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 wife. Manifestation lang siya on how I felt the love of God sa, sa life ko. On how the Word of God transformed me. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang dun sa uh, idealistic relationship, on what we see in Facebook, on Instagram. It's all good, di ba? When we scroll. But at some point, you will... Pag, pag wala kang connection kay God, bro, there's a lot of you know temptation to, be, to compare yourself to those perfect people, perfect in the social media. And you will look back dun sa marriage mo, ay, ganito pala, uh, my marriage is just a failure compared to them. So because you're not connected kay God, that's the consequence. So the opposite, the flip side of that for me is when you're, your relationship with God is thriving, since relationship is spiritual, kumbaga may sinasabi sila na yung yung soul ties, kumbaga yung soul ties niyo ng mag-asawa, I mean, it's thriving because your soul and your spirit is connected with God. It's just the same string na, na alam mo yun, yung, yung bond niyo, yung, yung husband and wife, nandun yung bond ni God. Kasi kung dalawa lang bro, madaling mabroken, di ba? Yung three bond, sobrang ano siya if if god yung god factor sa relationship natin so that's why it's very important na yung relationship natin it's it's always ano um parang founded yung foundation natin Ayun, it, it should, should be like a little bit grounded so you're saying that the health of your earthly relationships yeah. like mar- marriage man yan or uh sa work or friends yung gano or sa family it's just a reflection of your relationship with god that's what you're saying right so you should be in if healthy yung relationship mo with God, eventually, the rest of your relationships na apitoan. How can you cultivate that? Cultivate. So, ano siya? Uh, daily decision for me. Daily decision siya na, like for example, daily decision in a sense na if I don't feel like it, I'm gonna do it. If I don't feel like saying I love you to my wife, I will still do it because it's, it should be intentional on a daily basis. So, cultivate. Parang, ano lang yan eh, parang tanim. Like, pag nagtatanim ka, I'm not, I'm not sure if, nagtatanim ka ba? Oo oh, naman, oo. Oh. <laughs> sa Sa Hacienda, no? Pag nagtatanim ka, you have to, after you plant it, 
hindi mo pwedeng ano eh, hayaan mo na lang after after three months right. you are expecting a harvest no you have to protect it from any harmful alam mo yun mga damo mga outside pest kailangan mong isprayan siya so it's the same thing with the relationship when you when you ano when you cultivate it it's like you know you plant a, a word of hindi lang siya parang being a positive person pero it's more on like you're you're planting the the word of god Right. You're planting the word of God on a daily basis. Ano ba yung sinasabi ni ni, ni God sa, sa sa Bible regarding marriage, regarding friendship, regarding you know your relationship dun sa coworker mo? It's always ano? It's always a reflection of what the word of God says. So cultivating by you know um, by the word of God, spending time together in prayer, importante yon as a couple, kailangan nyo mag-spend time together in prayer. Hindi lang puro cellphone, tapos pagkagabi, good night, gano'n na lang, I love you. Pero you have to be intentional in in your devotion then, Kasi mas maganda bro mag-devotion together. And um, pag, pag si God talaga, when you seek first, Matthew 6.33, in the context of a relationship, all these things shall be added unto you. What are those things? The the love, the joy, the fruit of you know the Holy Spirit will it always comes out. Especially, it's a bond of two. Going back to Matthew six three, since na na mention mo naman yung Matthew six thirty three, sabi don seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness. All this, uh, all these things will be given to you as well, right? But in first part, seek first. God's kingdom and His righteousness. So when you say God's kingdom, the things of God, right? Just naman, you know, uh, anything uh, that would reinforce right standing uh, before the Lord. So given yan. But uh, ang maganda kasi dun, uh, uh, with what you said earlier, you know, about relationships, being uh, having God at the center of it, we need to look at relationships na parang priority list siya, di ba? So you have God. Usually ang yung priority list natin, God, and then family, tapos work, ministry, ganun-ganun eh, di ba? But dapat talaga si God kasama sa lahat. It's not just the priority, is the center. So, if you would look at your priority list, it should be God, God and family, God and work, God and ministry, blah, blah, blah. So, pagdating sa relationship, same thing. Uh, Ecclesiastes, yung sinabi mo kanina, na uh, 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 a bond of three strands is not quickly broken, right? So, kung kasama si God doon, if God is at the center of any relationship, whether it's marriage or uh, friendship yan or sa office mo, as long as he's at the center, it's not a guarantee na walang conflict. It's not a guarantee. Kaya nga, ano eh, kaya nga yung James 1.19, yeah. quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry or slow to anger. Kasi uh, it's in the context also of conflict resolution. But as long as God is at the center, there is ano mo yun, there is peace, there is harmony, and you know, there is hope for restoration. So another question, ito kasi yung medyo mahirap i-resolve eh. What if ikaw listener ka, pero yung kausap mo hindi? <laughs> and you've been friends for the longest time. Tapos yung kausap mo, yung friend mo, hindi talaga. So what do you do? Anong gagawin mo? Ngayon bro. Diba? Kasi so, ayaw makinig eh. <laughs> hindi siya receptive eh. O, oh, alam mo yung kausap mo. Yeah, yeah. Ito, oh, okay, oh. kita. <laughs> <laughs> Merong ganun kasi, number one for me, I will accept the reality. I don't live into those parang ideal world na pag yung friend ko ganito, I'm not supposed to, alam mo yun, to change the the character of that person. I always believe on that, ano, parang right timing. There will come a time na yung humbling season ng person na yun, he, he will become parang vulnerable na kala ko I, I i i knew it already parang know it all ako na person pero i would say at some point darating yung time so ibig sabihin yung listener na person na yun o kung ikaw man yun or ako i will keep on praying to god kasi i don't want to to have that kind of friendship na ako lang lagi nag-absorb ng ano di ba there are, although sabi sa bible doon we, we carry the burden of that person but in in the context of discipleship kailan natin mag kung lalaki man yon mag man up kailan natin mag grow together so growing it involves alam mo yon you have to set aside your preferences you have to set aside your minsan yung yung prideful na ano na i want to be heard ako na lang lagi yung yung center ng story ng 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 group natin so at some point kailan natin ano i-correct din pero ano eh case to case basis din siya eh 
I, I, I cannot say na, ay, correct mo siya kasi mas lalong hindi siya makikinig. Kasi nga, he's not a ano, listener. So, it's, ano, it's a daily commitment rin na I won't give up on this friendship just because we have different preference. It's just that we have to agree na at some point, we have to have those hard conversation na bro, na alam mo yun, you have to explain to that person na not, not all the time, alam mo yun, kailangan niya rin maging listener. Listener in the sense na, okay, I just want to, to hear your side, pero ito pa rin yung gusto ko. <laughs> pero that's how you grow in your relationship. Mm. There, there, there will come a time also that that person will meet another person na baka almost the same sila na personality. Ganon. So, darating yung point na ganon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mag-aaway sila. Mag-aaway sila. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to touch on, 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 touch on <laughs> confrontation yeah, yeah. sa conflict resolution because I, I think Pastor Nolan will cover that. I will cover that. Yeah. Or he's gonna cover that in one of the Sundays. So, hindi ko lang alam kung this coming Sunday or the following. Hindi ko alam eh. Pero, I'm sure he's gonna cover that part. So, I won't touch uh, on ano, no? uh, conflict resolution. But I'd like to, ano, I'd like to bridge this, yung listening sa forgiveness. Oh, wow. Kasi sabi mo nga, di ba, yung hard, kasi real talk eh. So yeah. part of having a real talk, may hard conversation, difficult conversations, I mean, di ba? So pang may difficult, uh, difficult conversations, hindi mo iwasan yung offense. Yeah. Right? And yung sa offense na part na yan, at some point, pang na-offend ka, yes, you're listening, given na yun, di ba? You're listening and, you know, you're sharing, you're pouring out your heart. Pag na-offend ka, you need to forgive. Yeah. Diba? So, ang question ko is, what if yung tao na kausap mo, na-offend ka because of the things that he or she said, how can you reach that place of forgiveness? Kasi forgiveness and healing naman, magkaiba naman yan eh. We believe that forgiveness is the starting point of healing. Meaning, patawarin kita ngayon, pero masakit pa rin sa akin. Yeah. But how can I reach that place where I can make that decision, that choice? I forgive you. Para tayong gagawin yun. Ayan. So, <clears throat> sa akin na no, sobrang may disclaimer lang ako sa umpisa kasi it's always on a case-to-case basis. But in the context of my my experience then towards forgiveness, di ba? Forgiveness. So, there are two things na ano, I can recall. Number one, sabi nung sa Bible, ano, for those, kung yung friend mo nagbumorn, magmorn ka din, di ba? Kung happy siya, dapat happy ka din. So, it validates yung emotion mo. Ibig sabihin, kung galit, galit ka, you have, to, you have to feel na, alam mo yun, but not in the context of public, magsisigaw ka or something. You have to settle it in private first. Kung galit ka, then you have to pour it out pour it out kay, kay Lord or sa wife mo. Huwag mo na sa wife siguro. Kay Lord mo na. <laughs> yun, yung, yun yung ginawa ko before. And I have, to, I have to settle it first on my own. That yung first option ko is to forgive. First option ko is to forgive. Although there's an offense inside my heart. So I, I, there are things na you cannot control. And that's why there's a God factor. That you ask God, Lord, I cannot control my emotion. I cannot control this, you know, this um, negative thought cycle. Lord, help me. So that's the first step that I did. Although, pag the next day, nandun pa rin yung offense. Yeah. Nandun pa rin yung offense. Every time I, rec- I can recall that person, parang trigger siya. They're, they're, especially pag, uh, I'm not sure for other people, there are traumas, there are triggers, there are past alam mo yun, na nabuli na sila or something na napahiya sila in public with their relatives, with their, sa, sa school or whatever. So, you have to decide first that forgiveness is always, ano, hindi siya optional na, Lord, mag-forgive ba ako? Sabi ni Jesus, seven times seven. So, pag ma-reach mo yung 49, will you still forgive? Yes. Kasi nga, yung seven times seven, parang ano lang yun eh. Parang, 77 naman. Tagdagan natin. Ah, 77. Yeah, yeah. Tagdagan natin. Oh, tila, oh, tila. <laughs> yeah, so, first option is forgive. Number two, offer to God yung mga things na hindi mo makontrol on your own. Number three, seek godly advice. Huwag ka mag-seek dun sa mga, ano, sa mga advice ng, alam mong, 
ikalalaglag ng integrity mo, alam mo yun, magiging gossip siya eh. So, don't, don't let that offense cause you to gossip that person to other people. And number four, you always see to it na you honor that person kahit galit ka sa kanya. You honor that person, ibig sabihin you don't say anything negative or probably you don't gossip that person to other people. So, you, you always honor na season lang yan ng life natin dito sa mundo. Kasi at some point, magre-reconcile din kayo eh. Or if not, kung hindi na kayo mag-meet ng person na yun, then let God settle it. Kasi as long as you forgive that person. I mean, ano eh, si, si Lord na yung mga things na hindi mo nung control. Yeah. I like what you said, no? Yung una muna kay God, right? Takbo ka muna kay God and then, you know, parang ikaw, tumang buka kay God and then after mo kay God, tumang buka kay Jen. Yes. And then, tama ba, Jen? <laughs> In Africa, Jen, you, you sought godly counsel. That's very, that's very wise, very wise to do. Now, question ko ganito, what if meron kang relationship tapos there was never a healthy conversation. You, you never had a healthy conversation with that person. Never. And now that you know na tong relationship na to, uh, God values that and you're supposed to cultivate it. How do you, parang, for lack of a better term, how do you reboot or restart that relationship so you can have that healthy conversation? Paano? Y- y- yung pag sinabing reboot, bro, ano, naisip ko, next life, eh. Parang, al- alam mo yung term na, ano? Matamata. <laughs> Puti na. Alam mo yung term na, ano? Bawi na lang sa next life. <laughs> Kasi, it, 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 ano, parang it boils down dun sa, you give up to that relationship. So, ibig sabihin, yung first option natin dapat, we, we, we should not have that mindset na give up ka na agad. So, ibig sabihin, y- yung, I- I'm not sure kung tama yung term na mantra or something na yung default na sasabihin mo, I won't give up with this relationship. Pag sinabi mo yun sa self mo na, I won't give up with this relationship, ibig sabihin, you have to have that mindset na, I will work it out. I will work it out. Kasi in the first place, pag nag-give up ka na bro, wala na. What's the use of, you know, having those, um, those, uh, tawag din, healthy conversation kung nag-give up ka na mismo. So you have to, you have to settle it first. So balik dun sa answer kanina. So how, how can we, yung tanong mo, how can we cultivate or how can we do the reboot? How, how can we so for example, again? So, uh, family, yeah, yeah. for example, family member. Yeah. So, meron kang family member, maybe uh, dad or mom or, you know, sibling na, you know, before you met the Lord, wala talaga. As in, distant, aloof kayo sa isa't isa. And now, tapos, uh, sorry, before you met the Lord, ganun, distant kayo. Tapos yung mga conversations lang yung pamag-aaway kayo, pang may disagreement sa bahay. And now that you met Christ, syempre, yung ano yung redemption ng Panginoon sa buhay mo pagkasama yung relationships na yun, di ba? Yun, so how do you restart? So, I, I can see there the situation. Parang awkward. Siyempre, di ba? Awkward, di ba? So, you have to accept na awkward talaga. So, I think, ano, um, step by step din. You have to start from, from, ano, parang arm's length. Ano ba yung kaya mo ngayon? Mag-high ka na, mag-high. Ay, ganun. Ay, you know. So, yung mga things na, kaya mo for now. Ibig sabihin, you don't do it na parang, ay, kailangan mag-reconcile tayo agad. Ay, kailangan ganito. Kasi you're coming, you're, you're bringing something na, yes, ideal siya, pero in reality, awkward siya. So you have to, you have to accept first yung reality. Kung awkward, then awkward. Then kung ano yung pwede mong gawin. Example, step one, greet ka. Hi, hello. Baka dati hindi kayo nag-a-hello. nag hello lang kayo pag lasing ka or you have uh, difficult... Hindi ako yun. Ah, hindi, ako hindi kayo. Ako. Yung person na yun. <laughs> yung person na yun. So, they have this um, awkwardness. So, that awkwardness, so there are steps. Like, you know, simple, uy, kamusta? Ganito, ganito. So, kung... Kasi you're planting eh. You're still planting seeds. Right? So it's it's always ano parang hindi siya overnight na okay magugrow agad yung seed. Hindi. You have to you have to accept the reality na you have to start from the scratch. You have to cultivate the soil. You have to cultivate the the relationship again. How paano yung yung ano niyo parang 
yung usapan nyo. So you have to cut siguro yung mga toxic na conversation before. You have to, you have to lead, hopefully that's a complete reset already. Like, yung awkwardness, lagi may, yung, yung tawag din, yung term na frequency, you have to be frequent, to be, to be, you have to be consistent of what you do. Hindi pwedeng nag-hilo ka ngayon, next week wala na. So dapat ano yun? Kung, kung if, if the opportunity ano, comes, you always grab that opportunity to have a, a healthy conversation again. Yes. Like a simple hello. So you have to start there. And be intentional. What's your next step? Ano yung next step mo? Hindi pwedeng go with the flow ka lang. Dapat may, you have to guide the conversation. Kasi yung isang person na yun, baka hindi rin siya willing to have a conversation with you. Di ba? So you have to gauge then step by step. But you're planting already. You plant and plant. And let the Lord, alam mo yun, um, cultivate yung heart niya mismo. Kasi it's the same with, with the power of God's word. You plan. It's God who, who do the... Make it, make makes it, it yeah, yeah. Wow. Bro, alam mo, I mean, I love that we were able to talk about forgiveness. We were able to talk about listening. But syempre, may, you know, may hangganan tong podcast na to. So, so bitin as usual. But, we need to we need to encourage everyone if you're not part of a connect group yet this is the time for you to be part of one to get connected kasi yung, yung sinasabi namin na real talk you can experience that there yeah. yung you know you go to a you attend a connect group hindi naman plastic yung mga tao doon hindi din sila perfect but these people are you know they're going through you know through you know, they have challenges they're going through things but what what I love about the Connect Group is they know that they all need Jesus. Yeah. So it's a place for you to experience and grow in Jesus together. So if you're not part of the Connect Group, please be part of one. I think it's about time na yung real talk may experience yeah. sa mga tao. Eh. Kasi I think it's it's something na scar sa labas, you know, outside the church walls. You don't really experience it kasi ang daming plastic, ang daming lamang sip-sip, or yung mga yes man lang. So you need someone who can really be honest and real with you. Amen. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of Connect, bro. I totally agree, bro. Uh, alam yun, you have to nurture the relationship, not just inside the church, but I you follow through. Right. Follow through conversation. Yeah. So, yeah. I love what you said about Connect. Bro. Yeah. And if you want to know more about the real talk and what we discussed uh, just now, you can go to our YouTube channel. I was, I was yeah. watching the preaching yesterday. I watched oh. it twice. Oh, kasi, ano eh, tatamaan ako eh. <laughs> Kaya, no offend ako kay Pastor Nolan. No, okay. <laughs> no but watch it. Also, the uh, the other, the previous preachings are there. So, please make sure that you watch. Parang ano eh, parang cow, di ba? Yung, yung baka, cow, di ba? How, how it eats. So, ano yan eh, it, it really digests the food until talagang maging pure, ano lang siya, liquid, na yung yeah, nutrients ay yung ma-absorb yeah. na agad ng katawan. So, keep on watching the preachings. Put God first, right, in everything that you do. And yeah, like what you said, diba? if God is at the center of your life, then eventually the, the the rest of your relationships will follow. So, that's why relationship is very important. And that's why I, I also acknowledge the, ano, grabe yung preaching, bro, every, I mean, every Sunday, I felt that the Holy Spirit na, well, a quick and long testimony one time. Um, pastor was praying, di ba, on behalf of that person that that hurt you. The last part yun eh, ng, ng service. I didn't know I, I have that pa during that time. But when I pray, yung, 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 yung prayer din ni Pastor Nolan na, alam mo yun, asking for forgiveness. Although there, there's no closure during that time, but you have to forgive. Right. You have to let go. And I'm, I'm so, ano, sabi ko kay Pastor, sobrang na-release ako. Sobrang, yung, yung hurt na bit-bit mo araw-araw, nandun pala siya. Pero, praise God for this um, real talk conversation. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that's it for Work the Word podcast. See you guys in our next uh, session. Bye.